This goddamn game makes no fucking sense. I've been dealing with this for the last goddamn three hours. You know what the weirdest part is? Since I launched the game, I turned up all my settings and everything's working slightly better. Doesn't even look that great. How long can I keep singing? Let's talk about No Man's Sky. Shut up, computer. Alright, what's up guys? How's it going? This is No Man's Sky. Now, I was originally going to stream this game today, but I don't think that's going to happen. And I'm sure you know why by now. There's been a whole lot of people talking about the dealio with this game, and a lot of people are very angry because... Now, here's a shocker. You're never going to believe this. The PC port isn't quite done. Not quite amazing. You know, let's pick this giant weird looking strawberry thing. That's cool, that's fine. So, yeah, no, people are complaining about the PC port of this game not being that great right now. A lot of issues with it and stuff, and, um, for the most part, I mirror these issues. There's a lot of frame rate dropping right now. There's a lot of stuttering, a lot of weird loading things. The controls and the interface are absolutely awful. Okay, let's go into the menu here. Okay, we're just gonna look at this, this, uh, optimized, or unoptimized menu, I should say. I don't need, A, I don't need this giant version model of my gun here. Uh, this could all be used with, like, I don't know, you could, you could throw my exosuit and my starship, uh, freaking interfaces right there. You could put them beside each other, and I could swap things between them really easily, that'd be really nice. We do that, then we have the multi-tool one as well, so we get three of these. Thankfully, we can kind of go through the A&D keys, that's all great. Loving it, absolutely fantastic, right? So, the worst thing is that literally everything you click on this in this game, you have to hold it down. I don't know who thought that was a good idea, so let's go ahead and do this, and um, thankfully we're online with our online services. This has been going in and out for me, so you have to be online in order to actually be able to name some of these things. You get money and you can upload them regardless, but if you want their cool names to go online for other people to potentially find, then you actually have to have that little green thing there. So let's go ahead and try to name this thing, and I also really dislike it when I hover over things, you know. It takes up the entire half of my screen there. I mean, could I, you'd think that I could just click on these and then it would like bring up another screen or something, but nope. Clicking doesn't do anything. You think I, I want to rename it? That's awesome. Okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's, let's go ahead and hit X. You actually have to hold X down just for it to register, which makes no goddamn sense. But you know what? Whatever. It's something I can get used to and that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and name this weird, I don't know what it is. It's like a, it's a chipmunk and a stegosaurus crossed together. So we're going to call it the Steg, uh, Monk, Saurus. Yeah, why not? Okay. That's fine. Okay, so that thing's been named, and we have this weird blue plant as well, so we're just gonna name this one, I don't know, the Blue Berry Man Group. That's fine. There we go. Cool. I'm down with that. Alright. Oh, look at that. I've lost connection to the online services. So, this seems to happen every time I actually name something in this game, all of a sudden my online connection leaves. I don't know if that's actually related to anything or not, but that's just something I've noticed that's been happening, so that's really fun. Let's go ahead and just uh, upload that as well. We get money for it, even though we're not actually online for some reason. I'm not exactly sure. Now, I might sound really angry about this. I'm actually kind of not. I expected this, you know? I was not incredibly optimistic about this game, and I made no secret of that. But, I did expect it to be a little bit better than it was, so let's head into our ship here. Again, you have to hold down E just to get into it, you know. It's not like they take it like a cue from Battlefield, where it's like, you know, you, you hit the button, then you get into the vehicle, like the tank or whatever you do in Battlefield or in any other FPS, but it's fine. It's cool. Not salty. If I was salty about that, I guess I'd probably have to cool my jets, so that's alright. Ha! <laughs> jets, I'm flying. Kind of a good thing there. So we're on a planet right now, we can kind of explore around this area. So I guess I'll just uh, kind of take you through that for a while, for a little bit here, and uh, now we're going to get into the stuttering, because this is where the game has a lot of problems right now. And you're going to see a lot of pop in right now, and you just saw my options menu, I have everything turned up to high. Look at all this pop in though, and they use this weird grainy effect that I saw Jim Sterling mention in, in his video, and to be fair I didn't really notice it as much in his, but god damn, now that I'm playing this game I see it. And I've noticed this in a lot of games, things like the culling as well, and developers, guys, look at, look at that! 
I saw like half of that mountain before I was like 50 feet away from it. It doesn't look good when you put in this weird grainy effect. I would much rather just have things pop in normally. Because when it's this weird effect, it makes it all that much more noticeable. It looks like things are actually materializing rather than just fading in. So seriously, that's great. So let's see if we can go around and find any areas of interest. You kind of go to these plants and you scan them for a while. You go and land at these weird places. Sometimes they're populated, sometimes they're not, sometimes they're abandoned, sometimes they're underwater. There's a lot of cool little places that I'm still discovering, so that's actually kind of cool about the game right now. It looks like there's something down here, so we're going to go ahead and land. You can pretty much land wherever you want on the planet, which is kind of nice. Thankfully, landing, they've kind of fixed what was wrong in a lot of these places, in a lot of games like this, you know? Elite Dangerous was absolutely terrible for this. Whenever you try to land, even with the um, automatic docking thing in that game, that software you could get in the game, it would still, like, land me upside down half the time, so that was really fun. So we've discovered, like, a waypoint that are on these planets. They're kind of, yeah, they're kind of, like, different areas in the planets, and you go and activate them, it saves your game. Gives you a bit of, I don't know, whatever sort of XP you generally get. Then there's these freaking things that fly around and don't let you do anything. Basically, if you, like, harvest too many things or kill anything, these things get all pissed at you. Like, they're, honestly, they're just little pissy robots. So that's really great. I'm so happy about that. It's actually okay. It's not, it's not a huge deal, but they're a little bit, they get a little bit crazy. You can notice my frame rate and stuff dropping. There's nothing I can do about that. Believe me, even on the lowest settings where the game looks like absolute, okay, well, it looks worse than it kind of does right now. I still get those drops, which is absolutely great. So let's go ahead and activate this place. We can name all these places too, which is really cool. So I can name it something really stupid if I wanted to. And then let's go see if there's anything in this building. If we can actually get into these buildings. I find that a lot of the time, these uh, areas and stuff will have nothing in them. There's giant buildings that you can't even get into. But we have an exosuit upgrade, which is something that's really nice to get. Uh, so let's see, can we... We can purchase an inventory slot, so I think I'm going to do that. I have enough money for that. Getting money is pretty easy to do in this game. You know, it could be a lot more difficult. And generally, if you want to get something new and cool, it's pretty easy to do that. So it's, uh, I think we've kind of done all we need to here. We can grab this plutonium with our handy dandy little gun thing. Plutonium is very useful for recharging stuff, being like, I don't know, a fuel source as well. It's not the actual fuel for like your spaceship or anything, but it does do a couple other things. Oh, so these like milestone things that pop up on your screen are the most annoying thing in the goddamn world. Because if they pop up when you're actually trying to do something, like activate something or anything, they just get in the way. They cut down like two thirds of your screen. Look. Game, I know that you want to be, like, super edgy and indie, but it's a lot better for me if I just get, like, a little pop-up on the bottom of my screen. Not everything has to be, you know, quote, cinematic. I really wish... I wish the Order 1886 taught anyone that. Okay, let's go up here. Use a quarter of your power every time you launch, by the way, so that's really fun. Oh my god, so... The handling on planets right now is absolutely ridiculous. You can, It's almost impossible to actually aim downwards. I'm trying to aim down right now. I'm moving my mouse, like, down multiple times. Nothing's happening. And I'm pretty sure it's because of the terrain. They don't want you crashing into things, but god damn it, this is my ship. I should be able to do what I want. Can I even... I don't even think I can fly through underneath this thing. No, I can't. I legitimately can't even fly underneath that. It's going to keep me above it. And it's because they don't want you to actually, like, be able to shoot anything with your ship or interact with the planet when you're flying around. It's stuttering more than I am in this damn video. All right. I'm getting more angry as I do this video, by the way. This is getting interesting. I don't even know what this place is. I think it's like a little spaceport or whatever. That's cool. Can I even crash into it? I don't even think I can. Can I crash into this cliffside? Let's take a look. Oh, no! It's because they don't want you interacting with anything unless they specifically say, yes, you're allowed to hit E to continue or do something with this. So that's great. Let's get out of the planet. Let's go up into, I don't know, space. I mean, they've captured the vast emptiness of space pretty well. It's filled with rocks, and then these spaceships that you can see right now, which are essentially rocks, they will legitimately just ignore you unless you decide to shoot at them. So unless you want to be a dick, then no one even wants to talk to you in this game. No one even wants to acknowledge your existence, which is so great. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. So I'm shooting at things right now. Look at that. Blew up an asteroid. This is how you get fuel in the game. Literally the easiest thing to do in the world, which is actually good. Because if we had to get fuel by some stupid arbitrary means, I would be actually kind of pissed about that. 
this is alright. Now, like, it might sound like I'm super pissed off and harping on this game. I've actually been having fun. I'm about three hours into it right now. I'm, I'm like, I'm not... Like, I'm, I'm not hating the game. It's just that there's a lot of problems with it. Thankfully, though, when you get into... Oh, God. I hate that sound, by the way. I, like, that's the most annoying thing in the world. Okay, so we should probably refuel something. Because we need to get, like, some space in our inventory. We have to just get rid of these. I don't really care about them. We had, like, one thing of iron, so that's annoying. There's these bigger asteroids, too, that just shot and flew past. And that thing will allow me to get some different things. Like, this one has nickel in it. Other things will have... Say, like, platinum or gold. I think they have platinum in them. So far, I've only gotten platinum from plants, which makes zero sense, but that's fine. I didn't start playing this game for it to make sense, and that's, uh, that's okay. But, like, the game's alright so far. I mean, aside from, if I'm ignoring all the performance issues, which are thankfully not as bad in space. Like, I'm getting, like, a solid 60 frames, even though I've set my frame limit up to, like, I think... Like 110 or something weird like that. It might have reset that when I was playing with my graphics settings. I don't know. But I'm getting a solid 60 when I'm in space here, which is really good. Let's uh, let's go ahead and talk to these guys. Can we even talk to them? I don't know. Let's find out. I've only seen these weird uh, canister ships so far, so I have no idea if this big ship means I can actually interact with it or not. And do not take this as a gospel or a review. This is not a review at all. This is literally just me playing the game and saying whatever the hell comes to my mind at the current moment. I don't know if I can do... Yeah, so this is just a container. This thing's gonna stay here and just be a static little nothingness. So that's great. Let's go to the natural space station. Which has at least some sort of thing going on at some, at some point or another. Right now I'm in a system with like four different planets, so that's really fun. I got some rum right now. It's spiced rum. It's quite good. I really do enjoy it. Rum on the rocks. Always nice to have. Especially in a game like this, because the, like, the thing is, I'm enjoying myself just kind of flying around and doing things. It gives me kind of the same feel that Elite Dangerous did. And the added ability to actually land on the plants is pretty cool. It's really just the flying around above them that isn't. I couldn't even crash into that. <laughs> like, I was, about to, I was about to crash into it, and all of a sudden the game just took control away from me. Which, um, I'm kind of torn on because... Knowing me, I would crash into things anytime I try to, I try to dock, but still, I feel like I should have that option. I think the game has a bit too much of a walking simulator vibe in it for me. You know, like, there, there's just not a whole lot to do once you get, like, after three hours in. Then I've discovered it. Maybe at ten hours, it opens up a lot more. But, you know, there's no, like, building mechanics or anything. Like, I'd love to choose a planet have it be my home planet. And build a little settlement on it or something, you know? Something like that would be really cool, but they don't have that. And, uh, have you noticed that there's no one in this space station? Yeah, anyone who lands in these space stations doesn't actually get out of their ship. So that's really funsies. In fact, there's normally someone, like, sitting here or something. But there's literally no one in this one. This is the first time I've run into that. I have to actually get some Atlas passes to be able to unlock that. I have no idea what those do or anything. Again, this isn't a review. This is me just showing you things and talking about stuff. So, on these space stations, you get two spots you can go into. You can either go to the right side or the left side. So, we went to the, I don't know, right side from where I am right now. Let's go over to the left. These are ships that are docking. They will just sit there for a while and then leave. So, that's super immersive. Love it. Alright, let's go this way. But it's an indie game, honestly. I can't even get into this door. Are you kidding me? So, this space station is literally... For all intents and purposes, abandoned. Because these guys won't even get out. They'll be like, yo, can I get a ship refuel? And then they'll realize that there's no one in this station. So they'll just get up and leave. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. Ugh. Like. This game. It's. It's an indie game. But it's priced like a full price release. And I don't know if it has enough content to warrant that. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's plenty of things to do in this game. There is a hell of a lot to do. It's all just extremely shallow. I really don't need it to be shallow right now. Let's go over to... Okega Garuagawat. <laughs> what the hell is that name? That is, um... That is quite the name right there. So let's engage our pulse engine and head over there. This is different than warp drive. If I want to go to, like, another part of the galaxy entirely, I have to get, uh, what are called warp... 
fuel thingies. That's not what they're called, but they're basically like fuel for your warp drive. Expensive as hell to craft them, so that's super funsies. And I have none right now, but if I wanted to get some, it'd be pretty easy to, because all these plants have a pretty big deposit of different ores and minerals. You can trade with the other ships. Like, any of the ships that landed there, I could have traded with, with, which is really nice. Hostile subspace scan. This is a new one for me. I have never encountered that before. Oh, no. So, is something going to be trying to attack me? Oh, this is not good at all. This is going to be a new thing for me completely. I've never even done space combat, so let's do this. Oh god! This is not good at all. Please die. Please die right now. Alright, so I'm going to try to do this with mouse and keyboard. This is going to go extremely interestingly. Oh god, ow, 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 ow. So I guess I have to shoot where that reticle appears. Oh god. Can I drive out of here? I can't even warp drive out of here. Wow. So am I just gonna die if I can't take these things out? So it looks like I'm just gonna die right now, which is absolutely fantastic. So pumped about this right now. And like, again, this is probably just me being bad at the game, but like, come on. I'm like three hours in. I feel, I feel like they should have like at least a thing where it says like, hey, you've got one... Like, you've got two hours of experience in this game, you've never done combat, our algorithm is gonna send one ship to attack you so you can get used to it first. So now everything is like, what, critically damaged? This is the first time I've actually even died in this game, so that's great. Let's see what that dealio is. So I have no weapons anymore, that's great. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go to a planet and get some Heridium, which is pretty easy. So that and iron, pretty easy to get, not a huge loss to be honest. And let's see, that's okay, so that's all damage, that's pretty good. I lose all my I lost all my inventory, which kinda sucks because I had a lot of gold from this other planet that I visited, but that's okay. Hopefully we can actually get to a planet right now. That'd be really nice. Where should we go? Should we go back over there and see if anything actually happens this time? It says there's a grave over there. I don't know what that means. If that means I'm going back to my grave. Interesting. If it doesn't, then I, I don't know. It's, it's weird. Ah, so let's head over there. We got 35 seconds to go there. I'm not sure if this is like a loading screen or if it's not. I'm get. I feel like it's a loading screen, you know? Kind of like the Elite Dangerous way. Where it's like, there's not really much here. Or there might be, but it's like all asteroids, obviously. So maybe it just doesn't really have to load anything. They can get away with the pop in here, though, because you're going so fast, it kind of makes sense, I guess. At least there's no, like, random-ass fade-in. Oh, I get my inventory back if I go here. Okay, that's really cool. So, death had no consequence other than I lost this phase beam. That's fine. I'm at, Like, I'm not complaining about that, actually. I think that's actually okay. <laughs> because I just got my ass kicked, so it's good to have my stuff back. I'm kind of okay with that. Let's go over to this planet. We'll just keep going over there. We'll go land on it and see what the hell is the deal. If you saw my video that I uploaded earlier, you're going to see the first thing I found in this game literally had a giant phallus, a giant penis. So that was great. That was probably the highlight of my time playing this game so far. First thing I saw looked like a giant angelfish slash dorsal fin. Loved it. All right. So I guess we can go land somewhere on this planet. Let's try to go actually find a location of some sort. I found that the locations that normally pop up when you scan haven't been doing that lately. Like it was at one point, but now it's just kind of completely stopped. So I feel like that's a little bit of a bit of a problem right now that they're having. Might be a connection problem, could be one of any other things. But normally when I scan, things actually pop up. Like, hey, you can go here, and there's a little question mark. Oh, there's one. Cool. Maybe I just haven't been near any. That's entirely possible, too. <clears throat> so let's go and say hi to whatever's over here. I hope it's not an underwater thing. That would be kind of boring. Let's make it something cool. It's going to be an underwater thing, isn't it? Awesome. Or is it? I have no idea what I'm going towards right now. Can I land on this, is the question. Sometimes you can land in... Weird spaces, sometimes you totally can't. Okay, it's letting me do it this time. I'm okay with that, that's good to see. 
Alright. Welcome to this planet. This is a hostile planet. I have no idea what that... Or they have hostile sentinels, so if I see any, they're going to try to shoot at me. That's great to know. So sentinels are going to try to attack me. That's great. So there's endangered resources. I don't know if that means they're more rare or not or something. It's entirely possible. So I just scanned a new plant. I can upload that if I want to. As well as any animals or anything else I see here. Yo, Sentinel, how's it going, dude? No, 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 get out of here. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. So this is the combat in the game. It's so great, I love it. That was the most engaging thing I've ever played. Now, granted, you're not really playing this game for the combat, and like I said, it's kind of more of a glorified walking simulator than anything, if I'm being entirely honest. Uh, so is there stuff down there? There is a thing down there, I don't know what that is. I think it's down this way, though. We can go check it out. Oh god, where am I even going? Am I gonna get stuck? It's entirely possible that I'll get stuck down here. No, I think I can jetpack out of there. What is this? I don't even know. I have no idea where I even am. So let's try to get out of here. There we go. Come on. Let me out. There we go. Okay, good. I was a little bit worried I was gonna get stuck. Thankfully, this guy ain't exactly the brightest. Yeah, I know I activated the Sentinel drones. We might not want to hang around on this place for too long. Now, where did that location go? I was right near it. Now it's telling me that there's nothing around. Oh, is it that down there? It's down there. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's it is underwater there. Okay, we'll go check that out in a second. So this is a, a knowledge stone where you kind of learn new things about the different... Uh, aliens around, so that's a Gek word. I haven't met those guys yet. Again with these, okay, if something was attacking me right now, do you have any idea how more, how difficult it would be? Like right now, look at that. How difficult is it to actually do anything with this, all this crap is on your screen? Like seriously, that's the most annoying thing in the world. I really dislike it. Alright. Damaged military machinery. We got a... some sort of upgrade. Alright. So we can go down and check out what is... Down here. I don't know if these sentinels can swim or not, so let's go find out. Oh god, extreme radiation? That's not very good. Okay, and the other thing is, when this happens, I can't see where all my stats are. Like, at all. Like, I legit can't see if I'm drowning or not right now, so I love that. That's my favorite thing right now. Now, where is this location? It's very confusing right now. Is it underneath here somehow? Okay, well, we're gonna go check that out in a second here, because I'm about to drown. So that's great, loving that. Yeah, I know, radiation protection, blah 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 blah. The weird thing is right now, too, that I can't uh, get my oxygen back if I go to the surface in this game. Seriously, look at that. No getting the oxygen back. I have to actually jetpack out of the water in order to gain any sort of oxygen. Again, it's... Uh, it is so weird. This, this game has a lot of really weird flaws in it. You're noticing a lot of uh, weird things about this um, water, too. Like, when you're above it and stuff, you see all these like weird little texture glitches and stuff. It seems to be a problem with when the environmental effects happen in this game. So I'm loving that. So there's a thing down here. There it is. That's what I need to find. And we also need to get out of here because our radiation protection is not doing very well. We're actually in a radiation storm, so I love that. Now I wonder if it's going to kill me while this animation is playing through. That's a good question. Let's find out. Okay, maybe not, but I don't want to find out either. Let's get the hell out of this. Get back to our ship before we die. Oh god, oh god, okay, we can hardcore parkour like Skyrim. Who needs Skyrim horses when I can literally stand on a vertical cliff? Where the hell is my ship? Okay, it's right over there, so I need to get up here. Somehow. Oh, this is not good at all. Well, if we die, that's fine. 
And luckily, I can literally scale vertically and just kind of walk around cliff sides. <laughs> this is, um, engaging. Oh, there's a manta ray thing down there. That's cool. That thing looks like it's going to try to kill me if I go down there, so I'm super pumped. Ow. Ow, radiation damage. Not okay with that. Oh god, don't fall! Okay, no, we're almost at our ship. Come on. Come on, I don't need to die from radiation. There we go. Okay. So, you know what? That's No Man's Sky so far. Was this video helpful at all to you? I don't know if it was or not. Let me know what you think about the game in the comments if you have it. Honestly, right now, you should probably wait before buying it. Because this game has a lot of problems. There's a lot of performance issues. They need to patch a lot of things. And honestly, I don't quite think it's worth $60. But that's my preliminary things after three hours. Again, not a review. Someone's going to call this a review. It's not a review. Does it say review in the title? Does it say review in the description? Did I say it's a review? I know I specifically said it's not a review. It's not a review, damn it. I am Patty Jack, and I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.